In this episode of Watch Me Work, I'm gonna show you how to combine real life footage recorded on a camera with animations. I'm an online teacher and therefore I create a lot of content for YouTube, lessons for courses and videos for websites. I believe that education should be entertaining, so I strive to give my videos a little extra. Gone are the days where talking heads were enough or a static slideshow with a voiceover. Now your videos need to be a little more engaging, a little more entertaining. How do you do that? One way to spice up your videos is to add some animation, whether it's for YouTube, for training new employees, for communicating something to your colleagues or whatever you create video for. Animation is a really easy, simple way to spice up the videos and level up your video game. Let me show you exactly how it's done using iMovie for the video part and Beyond for the animation part. Here's the sample video. Let's talk about buying versus making animation videos. And here's that same clip in Beyond. Let's talk about buying versus making animation videos. So what I've done is that I've made a complete video in iMovie, it's finalized, and now I export the audio file from this video and upload it to Beyond in order to make the animations. The reason why I export the audio track from the iMovie project is that I want to be able to get the timing right when I create the animations in Beyond. And now what I've done is that I've created animations for the sentences that I thought needed a visual side. Let's talk about buying versus making animation videos. This particular welcome scene is not going to be part of the final video. It's just a template scene I use for the right font and the right colors. Whenever you see these white scenes, it's because I haven't created any animations for this specific part. So here I actually want to show my talking face. If you can't do it yourself, you go out and buy it. And if you can't afford it, you try to make it yourself because you don't have the money. As an ex video right now we're watching all the animations I've created in Beyond. Um, some of them are going to be shown as they are and some of them are going to be kind of uh, green screened so uh, the background disappears. Perspectives on making content you are to present in this animation video very dynamic or is it very static? The fine art is to get inspired by what is being said in the voiceover and create animations that kind of visualize that. You can sign up for free on my website and you'll get these emails with... After you've created all the animations in Beyond and you uh, are done with that, you can uh, export the whole thing in uh, 1080p so you get a really good output. That takes a few minutes for Beyond to export that video and uh, we can use that time to take a look at iMovie here. Let's talk about buying versus making animation videos. I could just use this video as it is. Well, it's a talking head video with me talking to the camera and that's fine, but uh, that's not what we want. We want to add this layer of animations when they are done. Else to do it whenever you have the need. A common misconception is that if you can't do it yourself, you go out and buy it. This particular clip is one we've created animations for, so uh, we're actually not going to, to see this in the final video. This is going to be animations instead, much better. Let's go get that beautiful 1080p export that Beyond has now converted from a work file into an mp4 that we can export and upload into iMovie. When you've downloaded it, you just uh, pick it up from the downloads folder and upload it into the My Media library in iMovie. From there, you drag it down onto the timeline so it kind of uh, is a layer on top of all your real camera footage. Remember to get rid of that extra audio track or it's gonna sound really weird. Let's talk about buying versus making animation videos. Just drag the volume levels all the way down to zero. Let's talk about buying versus making animation videos. Now the fun part and real work begins. Now we are to separate the animation file from the video file, so to say. So we are going to pick the clips that we want to show and remove the animation clips that we don't want to show and do this green screen thing to, uh, for example, this scene where we will uh, kind of remove the background. So I will be showing and then the kind of contrasting animations will show on top of the footage. When playing around with this green screen effect, it's very important to use a background color with a strong contrast to your animations. The animations you want to show here, well, they are white and I use this green background so the program knows what to remove. Videos. 
this animated video intro I bought for $10 on placeit.com. You see, I'll be dragging away the animation layer, like a, a layer that I'm scraping off the video, uh, the places where I actually want to show the real footage, and then I'm going to leave it on there when I want to change to the animation. I've actually made a small mistake here, because I have started my clip too late. I have this uh, white background, so uh, I cannot really use the clip from where it should start. So I have to start it later. So when you do this in Vyond, you want to start your animated scenes just half a second before the sentence begins that you want to visualize. Instead of using blank white scenes, you just make the scene before much longer and then you cut away that excessive animation scene from the footage. Personally, I don't think the timing has to be absolutely perfect for when the sentence starts and when the animations begin. I think it's fine that, you know, this talking head talks for a half a second and then the animations begin. Again, it's not really a big deal. So as you can see, I have two formats. I have the animated scenes that are complete takeovers, and I have these green screens, like the one I'm approaching now, where I have to add this green screen effect in order to remove the green background. I only want the green screen effect to be applied to this specific clip, so I have to cut it off and uh, click it, and then add this a green blue screen effect to this specific clip. iMovie is a super simple program, but uh, they give you the option to uh, turn the softness up and down on the green screen effect. And this just gives you uh, the option to make your numbers more transparent or make them more solid. But if you make them very solid, maybe they will also have a, just a little bit of that green um, you know, contour around the edges. Just drag it up to where the next scene starts. There's a lot of just trial and error with this. This thing with the concrete was actually a joke because I'm talking about a very concrete concept. But uh, yeah, you know, play around with it. Use a little bit of humor. Maybe it's not funny. Maybe you're the only one who laughs, but then that's also enough. That's fine. Very dynamic or is it very static? Dynamic versus static, windy versus not windy, you see, you can use animations to visualize what you're talking about in a much more interesting way than if you were just looking at the camera and saying the words. If it is dynamic content, you might want to think about making the video yourself because you will be iter iterating. Iteration. Do everybody know what that means? Maybe, maybe not. You can visualize it with a video version 1 and a vi video version 2. That's a way to use animations to visualize what you're saying instead of just saying it. This is just a very short animated clip before returning to the talking head footage. If it's very static content, if it's very static content like a yearly presentation, your company of course, you don't have to produce animations for the complete duration of the live footage, but I think it's good practice to use an animated clip every fifth or tenth second at least. Here I'm talking for a while before a sad customer pops up. This is a very concrete perspective on whether to buy or make, and uh, I've seen that customers came to us years after we made that video and said, well, we couldn't actually use it that much because two months after you made it, we actually oh no, here goes again with the blank canvas, the white scenes. They're actually not that easy to work with because as you can see, they will be part of the beginning of the next animated scene. So uh, I've actually done it by mistake, but I can also just say that I did it to show you what not to do. Instead, you want to lengthen your scenes and kind of cut them off instead of inserting these white blank scenes. As you can see, there's a lot of back and forth, a lot of trial and error, a lot of sliding sliders right and left in order to get this right. But I think it's totally worth the time because the end result will be a much more engaging video than otherwise. I just love this animated rocket. And as you can see, I'm using the green screen effect and I have to control the softness. Otherwise, you can see the, the stuff, the books through the rocket if I don't make the rocket more solid. And you can adjust that with the softness. Let's move up a little bit to the second perspective, which is a strategic one. Is video going to be... A this yellow scene is an example of this complete takeover where I won't show my face. I'll show a complete screen full of animation. Now we are quickly approaching the number one mistake I've made in this video. I actually thought that this light blue background was a strong enough contrast to the objects and the characters in order to remove the background. But as it turns out, the contrast is not high enough. So when I try to use this green screen effect, 
my man and my video icons are also removed. Or as you will see, they will become very transparent because iMovie is trying to remove the same color from the objects that I try to remove from the background. What you'll be witnessing now is a desperate attempt to fix this mistake, but really there is no way back. I've used a background color that is too weak in contrast compared to the objects that I used. I'm trying to fix it with the tools that iMovie gives me, but there isn't anything to do. I cannot fix this with the tools that iMovie has. <laughs> yeah, you can see there's really nothing to do. Um, I just have to accept this mistake and uh, I will be using the man and the video icons as they are. They'll just look really weird with a weird color and a very transparent look to them. This is the exact moment where I realize there's nothing to do and I just use it as it is. The very best solution if you cannot fix your mistake here is to turn the softness all the way to the right so the objects and characters become as apparent as possible. After video. If it's not really a strategic bet, but you just do these. The original idea behind these white blank scenes was to signal to myself that I should remove the animation layer. But I should have begun the next scene a little bit before. Back when I was in business school, I Now I have to include just Back half a second of the talking head before the animated clip starts. Who presented a theory that just stuck in my mind forever till this day. It was called Transaction Cost Economics. So just to recap, what you do is that you record a full video with a camera, with live footage, you cut it and edit in a program like iMovie, and then you export the audio file. The audio file is then uploaded to your animation software. I used Vion Studios because it's easy to work with. And then you create animated scenes for each sentence that you think needs a visual side. At this exact moment, I'm talking about a business school theory or concept, a model that I'm trying to explain. And here's just such a huge help to the viewer that I've actually visualized the model with animations instead of just talking about it. On the other hand, if you only used animation throughout the video, it would first of all take a long time to create, but it would also remove some of that nice energy that a talking head gives. There's a lot of energy that fuels the video and really engages the viewer when you see the eyes of the teacher, you see the eyes of the presenter. If you hadn't guessed it already, this is not real time. I've sped up the video in order to not bore you too much. I'm just doing the same over and over again in order to remove the animation layer in the places where I wanna show my talking head. We're getting close to the end of the video and I really like to round off with pure talking head. If I choose to use animations at the end of the video, it's as a layer on top of the live footage. I have a newsletter I call Explainer Experts. Remember to place these green screen animations to one side so they are not layered on top of your face. I have a newsletter I call Explainer Experts. You can sign up for free on my website and you'll get these. Now I do the last finishing touches. I like to play around with this crop to fit or fill, whatever it's called, in order to vary the scenes with the live footage. From scratch, I have a newsletter I call Exp And again, tweaking the softness of this green screen effect so the things that I've animated aren't transparent. I have a newsletter I call Explainer Experts. You can sign up for free on my website and you'll get these emails with small bite-sized lessons. iMovie really doesn't have many levers to pull, so I like to use the effects that are there. With small bite-sized lessons on how to... Here I just added a little bit of fade in, a fade out of the animations. These emails with small bite-sized lessons on how to go from knowing nothing about explainer videos up to a level where you can start watching. Take care. I finish with an end screen for YouTube and that's it. Now it's your turn to go out and create these mixed formats with animations and real life footage now that you know how it's done. As you heard me talking about in the video, I am now enrolling people for my free email class called Explainer Experts. Sign up to learn a lot about explainers and about the digital skills needed in tomorrow's workplace. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for a heads up when new content is published. Take care until next time.